This video is going to be a preview of the Longevity Toolkit Final Beta Release 3.0. Um, it will give you guys a good view of what the program will look like on its paid final release. So looking quickly at some of the features, you can enter in your own uh, custom icon. You can bind a file if you want. There's several mods such as Force Run as Admin, Optimize Output. You can do a second run P. Um, you can put also a delayed execution so your server will start up say 60 seconds in this case after they run it. Um, you can put in your own encryption key or you can randomize it. Um, there's an update system, you can check for updates and it'll download the recent version if you're outdated. Also if you have a rat that has EOF, click this little checkbox here. Startup, you can enter up a startup and it'll start up uh, under the name that you put it under here. Don't enter EXE, just put the actual name that you want it. Also you can choose, you don't have to, but some advanced startup features, is, you know, longevity persistence, we have ActiveX installation and the task scheduler exploit. You can do custom message boxes and test that if you want. Um, under assembly, you can do fake APIs. Uh, you can also put in assembly information, you can randomize it, um, or you can click clone file and choose a file that's on your computer and it will copy all of that off of it. On um, the spoofer, you can enter a program here here. Just do a little test to show you guys. Um, you can enter in a program real quick like that. Um, you can choose an extension, say .mov, spoof it. The file's been successfully spoofed and if we go back to it and take a look right here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So now it's coolio.mov. Um, under appends, you can put in junk code, you can choose a different type of junk code that you want to put in there, and then you click generate junk, it'll add it to the stub. You can still do your VB script, so if you have any VB code, you can upload it. Um, a file pumper, so you can choose a pump uh, file that you want to pump, and we'll just show another test of that too. So I'll open up that coolio.mov that I made. We'll just take a look at its size right here, and it's 196. We'll close it, choose it. Now you can put in the megabytes that you want here. So let's just put 10 megabytes and we'll pump the file. We'll give it a minute to do its job and this is done. If we go back to the file and take a look. Coolio.mov. Alright, so I hope you guys like this video.